Welcome to JC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Today we'll be representing our isometric block in third angle projection. So the first thing we'll do is that taking the liberty by drawing a scale. This is 10 millimeter apart, 10 millimeter apart from each other. Then the next thing is while drawing your axiometric view, you take note of the height 50 millimeter or starting with our front view so take the height 50 millimeter then we indicate a point project that point to our left and then the next thing we we'll do how long is our object the length then 75 millimeter so measure 75 millimeter to my left and then we'll project the line upward now the next thing we'll do is that what can we see we can see three good section one two three so this is 25 millimeter 25 millimeters will measure 25 millimeter indicate it with the point this is also 25 millimeter we'll measure another 25 millimeter we we'll indicate it with the point now we we'll project those points upward having our three given section one two three now from our isometric block we we'll find out that the distance the height from the the front of our isometric block is 12 millimeter so measure 12 millimeter height and then this 12 millimeter height is joining the 50 millimeter height with a straight line so we join it to a straight line now we can also see the height of this we can also see the height of our block over here well now you find that the distance this last distance was 12 millimeter so you measure 12 millimeter From the base don't take it from the slant height take it from the base and then we we'll project that point up now from our projected line from our projected line we discover that it moves 16 millimeter upward so we'll take 16 millimeter measure 16 millimeter from our slant height now It will project say to hit our height. Now the next thing we'll do is that say this is 12 millimeter deep. So we'll take 12 millimeter deep. Measure 12 millimeter. Indicate it with the points. And then indicate it with what a broken line so that indicating that there's a passage passing through. Now for clarity purpose, oh, we succeeded in representing our front view to make our diagram look more clear. I'm using my purple pen to outline.
so we are done with our front view and then we move to our side view and from our side view we can see this we can see this also we can see this hole passing through and a part of the top view and also we can see this hole passing through so we we'll use our front view project and line up to my right and then the length of our side view which is 63 millimeter will measure 63 millimeter measure 63 millimeter indicate with the point we project the point upward And then from our side view, find that this is 12 millimeter upward. We measure 12 millimeter up. Indicate the points. So draw, project the line to my right. Now from this distance here is 19 millimeter so we measure 19 millimeter to my right and then also here is 25 millimeter also measure 25 millimeter and then we we'll project those lines upward up now the height of my top block here is 16 millimeter so measure 16 millimeter I indicate it to the point then I will join project it to the left to the other vertical line having this and then this now from my diagram you can also see she's same now from my diagram I'm having a hole passing through which was this deep so I'll project this line to my right where it passes through I'll indicate it with an outline now I find that the distance between here is 22 millimeter so I'll measure 22 millimeter Measure 22 millimeter. I'll indicate the point. Then measure 19 millimeter. I also indicate the point. Then I'll project the line to hit the line which I've produced this way, indicating that this is a line passing through can erase this portion to see very clearly indicating that this line passing through and then I'll outline so that you can see very properly using my green pen Now you can see this part, this portion, which is going to be this. Now you can see this portion, which is going to be this. Now.
now you can see the deep how deep it is which is going to be this now if you watch from our image while looking from this path you can see who over here which is the tip of this point and this point which is the tip of both so you project to your right to hit a last vertical line project the second tip to hit now having these two points you find out that the distance between these two this is 12 millimeter so you pick 12 millimeter indicate the point and then you project the point down to hit the second horizontal line And then you you are free to outline so you can see this this height of this this the hole passing through you can see it and then this hole you can see it here now this is a side view so moving to our plan moving to our plan so use 45 degree set square then we'll create an angle 45 this way and then for our plan we we'll project a side view Up once it hits 45 degree, we project to the left. Also, we we'll project our front view. Upward. And then we're having three points these four points one two three and then four for our plan now we're looking at the image from the top view so we we'll start from our side view we we'll project a small giving box here press it up Once it hits a 45 degree, project it to our right. Now we we'll look for each similar component. This portion here, this is it. So we'll project it upward. I'll project the next distance, next point upward. Now having a box here at the top then we'll outline so that we we'll understand very properly
can see this portion this is it then we want to get this portion this is it and this is it so all we need to do project please up once it hit my 45 degree project to my left once it hit 45 degree project also to my left now, this portion, this is it. Now, this deep, this is it. Having this, we project this upward, which is similar to this. Now, project up. You have this. Given that this equals to this so outline So this is this, this is this, this is this. Now, for outline, this portion as well. And then, Project this project this to this project to this also having this and this now come to our side view project upward. Send that T square up. Having these two points, this point and this point. Now project the next side of that image. We it is a forty five degree. project giving us this portion and then this portion then we outline Our last portion, which is this, yeah, then we outline. Give us our plan. Thank you for watching. I still remain GC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel.